right. Good morning, everyone. So a lot of you have been asking for us to do a walkthrough of our camper. And as much as I wanted to do it when we first got it, I thought, you know, I want to live in it for a little bit so that I can actually show you what it looks like on most days. So join me on a little walkthrough of our Grand Design Imagine XLS 23 LDE. All right, so first off, one of the things that really sold us on this camper was the rear kitchen and the counter space. So I actually have just as much counter space here as I did in my sticks and bricks. So first when you walk in, we have our control center. As long, along with our cozies and my healthy food. Below that, we have a row of cabinets. So this is my kitchen. And I do not feel that I am lacking for anything. So there's cabinets above, my microwave, um, stove a little bit messy but I don't know if you can see how far back that goes but we have got quite a bit of space as well as having my counter space there I also have this counter space so these drawers are really utilized although one thing I could suggest to Grand Design is to put heavier bottoms on these drawers because they tend to uh, slip out of their spot because of the amount of stuff we need to put in there. Though I try to keep as much light stuff as we can in here, uh, it does get a little heavy. And below that we have our shoe rack. All right, and behind that island is our kitchen, as well as my office, a little bit of storage underneath because we only need a little bit of space to sit at this. Above that, we've also got our TV and um, two more cabinets of storage. One of the things that we really, it was a real must for us when we were buying a camper is that we actually had a couch directly across from our TV. So here's our theater seats. Now these were added to our camper after the fact. We did have a fold up bed here at one point but this houses are the house or the uh, couch and the fridge and the cabinets are housed in our uh, slide so um, I also forgot to mention there's three drawers below that are super deep they're great for utensils and things like that all right on we go so going forward uh, we have our bathroom, cabinet in the corner. One of the things I was a little concerned about when we first bought this cabinet is the closeness of the valance to this cabinet. So when you open it, it does hit, but you really don't need it open more than that to get what you need out. And it, if you're careful, it's good. So we also have rows of shelving down there, a lot of space underneath our cabinet or our sink. I'm not going to show that to you because it's jam packed. Across from that is the toilet, more shelving. And I don't know if you can see how deep that is, but let me turn on a light. So that goes way back there the whole depth of the shower. It's great for storing toilet paper and all our towels. Um, inside our shower, which is a fair sized, um, but we also house our laundry down there. So I don't know if you can do it justice, but I think if you're about 6'3", you could easily stand up in here, no problem. I do not feel like I have a lack of space when I'm showering. All right, now, this is our bedroom. 
The bed's unmade. It's really hard to get around this bed. Um, one of the things that I dislike about our bedroom is the fact that you cannot get to the headboard to make your bed properly. So over here, we've added some command hooks, three of them. I think they carry up to seven pounds. So they're great for our jackets and hoodies and house coats. Um, we also have two drawers and a closet on each side of the bed. And above that, we also have two fairly deep um, little cabinets. I'm gonna open one of these and you can see, we've got everything stored in here. I've got my miscellaneous clothes, all my t-shirts rolled up in the bin and all my tights and yoga pants and all that stuff are in here. So that's our bedroom. And one of the nice thing, things is, is we also have lighting at the top of our bed and two cubicles at each end that house um, a USB quick charge and a plug. So if you have uh, to use anything for sleep apnea, you can definitely run your mask here. So that's our camper in a nutshell. Not perfectly cleaned but lived in, love this camper. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Have a great one.